Hey guys, I'm back with a quick and a super useful video for all of you. Exam shuru ho chuke hain aur hamari khalbali kafi bad chuki hai. In fact, hum to already exam de kar bhi aa chuke hain, right? ट्वेल्थ क्लास के बच्चों के लिए अगला एग्जाम है फिजिक्स का और बहुत से बच्चे घबराए हुए हैं कि फिजिक्स से पहले सिर्फ तीन दिन की छुट्टी है तीन दिन की छुट्टी में पूरा ट्वेल्थ का फिजिक्स कैसे खत्म होगा सो आई एम हियर विद अ मैजिकल वीडियो वेयर आई हैव पुट फॉरवर्ड अ स्ट्रैटेजी ऑन हाउ कैन यू कंप्लीट योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स इन थ्री डेज so we will start our preparation right from today so today will be day 0 followed by day 1 day 2 and day 3 and we will be done with our physics preparation so let's get started with day 0 aaj kyunki hum ek exam deke aaye hain to thode thake hue hain to we will not stress ourselves too much to isliye aaj ke sham mein hum kuch aise lessons padhenge jo moderately important hai exams ke liye aur jo thode easy lessons hain to brain pe zyada zor nahi padega so we will basically cover three lessons today that is dual nature of radiation and matter atoms and nuclei you can expect 3 to 5 questions from this entire unit as in from all of these three chapters so uh, roughly one or two question from each of these lessons now the important topics for dual nature of radiation and matter are einstein's photoelectric equation now this is very important so uh, you may get direct questions based on photoelectric equation or you may even get questions related to dependency on uh, intensity frequency and their plots so basically you should be thorough with photoelectric equation de broglie hypothesis and davison germer experiments are two other topics which you should not miss while you are revising the next lesson is atoms and in atoms the most important topic is bohr's postulates in fact in bohr's postulates if you see the line spectra of hydrogen atom where we talk about lyman balmer paschen prefond and all of those lines so they are very important so you uh, there are chances that you may get a question based on that in fact you should be again thorough with bohr's postulates nuclei in this law of radioactive decay wherein alpha beta gamma decay should be clear to you nuclear fusion and fission nuclear reactor also sometimes you get short questions from this lesson from the nuclear forces in fact if you remember the potential energy plot so that graph so from there also we have seen questions coming up in previous exams right so so this is all about uh, what you need to cover in day 0 also uh, i think it is good to highlight that out of these three lessons of day 0 dual nature of radiation and matter is the most important lesson so why i am saying this is so that when you start your preparation on day 0 you can prioritize this lesson you covered this lesson first and then you can cover atoms and nuclei अब हम आ चुके हैं डे 1 पे सो डे 1 इज गोइंग टू बी एन एग्जॉस्टिव डे बिकॉज़ this is just the start of our preparation we are full on energy more over the stress level is very low because abhi hame aisa lag raha hai ki yaar abhi do pure din aur hain exam ke liye to thoda stress level kam hai energy level high hai to hum koshish karenge zyada se zyada aaj cover karne ka to aaj day 1 pe hum cover karenge panch lessons kul mila ke hum sare electricity aur magnetism ke chapters ko aaj revise kar lenge so we will cover electric charges and fields electrostatic potential and capacitance करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर है एग्जाम के लिए मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म मैग्नेटिज्म एंड मैटर वेल सो नाउ दीज फाइव लेसन्स a comprise of 10 to 12 10 to 11 questions in your question paper now that's a big number right so you have good number of questions from these lessons and um, Uh, before i highlight the important topics of this lesson let me talk about the priority of this lesson because on day 1 you have to cover five lessons so there might be a question in your mind that out of these five lessons which one should i start with so the most important lesson out of these five lesson is current electricity so start your preparation of day 1 with current electricity and then electrostatic potential and capacitance that is like the next important lesson followed by these two lessons electric charges and field and moving charges and magnetism so they are like moderately important and mag and then you have magnetism and matter which is less important so 
you can prioritize your study accordingly on day one now let us look at the important topics electric charges in fields coulomb's law axial and equatorial point in a dipole gauss law applications as in you should be clear with gauss law and you should also be clear with how do we apply gauss law to find out the electric field at different points or to find out force at different points so that application part should be clear to you properties of electric field lines sometimes you get short answer questions from this topic next is electrostatic potential and capacitance here equipotential surface this is a very important topic for one or two mark questions derivations related to parallel plate capacitor sometimes you may be directly asked to derive capacitors combination and graph generator then current electricity now as i said this is a very important lesson and to be honest i would not say that you should just revise one or two topics from this lesson you should revise this lesson thoroughly because all the topics of this lesson are important so from this lesson you get circuit related questions you are given a circuit you are asked to calculate voltage or current or equivalent resistances things like that they are generally based on one of these concepts kirchhoff's laws meter bridge potentiometer wheatstone bridge right uh, then we have uh, moving charges and magnetism here properties of magnetic field lines lorentz force gauss law again gauss law is important at the same time how to apply gauss law is also important cyclotron sometimes you may have a question a long answer question where they ask you to explain the construction and working of a cyclotron uh, biot severt law uh, again not just the law but also how to use biot severt law to calculate uh, for a circular coil or a straight conductor so how exactly do you calculate the magnetic field at certain points of these conductors moving coil galvanometer because sometimes you get questions from this topic finally magnetism and matter which is not a very important lesson from exam perspective but still you should not skip it completely so here you can quickly revise curie's law hysteresis loop magnetization and magnetic intensity and para die and ferromagnetic materials so this was all about day 1 aa gaye hain hum day 2 pe घबराहट और बढ़ रही है क्योंकि हम एग्जाम्स के और पास आ रहे हैं लेकिन आई डोंट सी अ रीज़न टू गेट वर इट क्योंकि काफ़ी कुछ तो हमने ऑलरेडी पढ़ लिया है और अभी तो हम सिर्फ डे टू पे हैं आज हम पढ़ेंगे तीन लेसन रे ऑप्टिक्स वेव ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑल्टरनेटिंग करेंट्स बता दूं मैं आपको कि रे ऑप्टिक्स इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट लेसन इन योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स और इसमें से काफ़ी क्वेश्चन पूछे जाएंगे इसीलिए ये लेसन आपका बहुत सारा टाइम लेगा क्योंकि लेसन काफ़ी लेंदी है लेकिन इस लेसन को टाइम दीजिए हो सकता है डे टू का आधा या आधे से ज़्यादा दिन आपका सिर्फ रे ऑप्टिक्स में चला जाए बट दैट्स एब्सोल्यूटली ओके उसके बाद आप वेव ऑप्टिक्स और ऑल्टरनेटिंग करेंट आराम से खत्म कर लेंगे सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सिक्स टू एट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीज थ्री topics that is ray optics wave optics and alternating current now you may be wondering that on day 2 we have just given you three chapters that's because ray optics is a very lengthy lesson and it is a very important lesson so this is like super important lesson in fact if you look at the entire curriculum this is one of the most important lesson so do not ignore it cover all the topics like ray diagrams you may be asked to draw ray diagrams for a particular position of the object for a particular type of lens so be very clear with ray diagrams of lenses prisms ref how refraction happens in prism dispersion of light angle of minimum deviation you get questions related to that mirror equation compound microscope telescope these are important you may get a direct question as in describe the functioning of the telescope or compound microscope or uh, how to derive an expression for magnifying power of a telescope things like that so just be because these are these, these are all small small topics if you're clear with them you should know their diagrams you should know the derivation you should know their functioning that's it combination of lenses you get questions like you know in in the diagram it is given that there is one convex and one concave lens put together there is an object here so what happens to the image so things like that topics that you should focus on and therefore ray optics is quite an exhaustive topic then the next important lesson out of these three lesson is alternating current 
so on day two the second chapter that you should study is alternating current and in alternating current some of the important topics are lcr circuit and transformers these are like two most important topics Finally, you should study wave optics and in wave optics, Huygens principle, Young's double slit experiment, polarization. You get questions related to the polaroids. So uh, just be clear with them. So that's all about day two. And finally, we are on the final day. That's day three. But I'm pretty sure that no one has been talking about it because we have covered everything. And for day three, we have very कम छोड़ा है पढ़ने के लिए और जो छोड़ा भी है वो एग्जाम पर्सपेक्टिव से बहुत ज्यादा क्रिटिकल नहीं है तो आज हम पढ़ेंगे सेमीकंडक्टर्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन इन तीनों लेसन में सेमीकंडक्टर्स थोड़ा ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है बाकी दोनों लेसन काफी कम इंपॉर्टेंट है एग्जाम पर्सपेक्टिव से मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये जो तीनों लेसन है ये आप हाफ डे में ही खत्म कर लेंगे बहुत हुआ तो आई थिंक बाय 3:00 और 4:00 इन द इवनिंग आपका ये खत्म हो चुका होगा तो उसके बाद हम क्या करेंगे रिवीजन ऑफ कोर्स तो अब आप सोच रहे होंगे कि यार रिवीजन क्या करें तीन दिन से तो सब कुछ पढ़ लिया इतना सारा तो जो भी कुछ आप तीन दिन से पढ़ते आ रहे हैं जहां पर भी जिस भी टॉपिक पे आपको ऐसा लग रहा हो कि यार ये एक बार और रिवाइज कर लेंगे ना तो अच्छा रहेगा उसको आप पेंसिल से मार्क करके रख लीजिए अब जब डे 3 के सेकंड हाफ में आप रिवीजन के लिए बैठेंगे तब ऐसे सारे पेंसिल से मार्क किए हुए जो चीजें हैं उन सब को आप रिवाइज करेंगे सो ऑन डे 3 वी हैव जस्ट लेफ्ट थ्री चैप्टर्स व्हिच इज सेमीकंडक्टर्स electromagnetic induction and electromagnetic waves and all together from all of these three lessons put together you may get four to five questions not more than that in fact you can even get lesser number of questions because if you see this year some of the topics from semiconductors have been removed from the syllabus altogether so in semiconductors forward and reverse biasing photodiode these are some important topics electromagnetic induction lens law is an important uh, topic so you should be clear with what is lens law and you should also be clear with questions based on applications of lens law for example to calculate induced emf so you may be given a situation or a diagram and you will have to calculate the induced emf or motional emf so you should be clear with those kind of questions faraday's laws self and mutual inductance you get questions from this topic like define mutual inductance derive an expression for it so things like that uh, ac generator working and functioning principle of the generator in electromagnetic waves uh, all you need to focus on is the parts of the electromagnetic spectrum as in what are the different uh, uh, types of uh, wave magnetic waves which which make this spectrum their functions their properties because you get short questions based on all these information and maxwell's equations now out of these three lessons i would say semiconductors is slightly more important than the other two lessons now uh, so with this uh, as i said that you will be able to finish these three lessons by first half of the day so the second half of day three will be all blocked for revision so whichever area you feel needs a second round of revision please feel free to do so by the time day three ends we are thoroughly prepared with all the lessons of class 12th physics along with a quick round of revision do not forget to take good sound sleep at night and then rock your exam the day after wish you all the best